Up next, let's hear from our fifth and final CPG contestant, Planeteer. Hi there, this is Dinesh Tadipali, co-founder of Planeteer, and I would like to start with a question. What a few minutes of convenience can lead to? By 2050, there would be more plastic than fish in the ocean by weight. That's how dire the situation is. Introducing Incredible. Incredible reinvents the way we eat our food by replacing single-use plastic cutlery with edible cutlery. Are spoons are firm enough for you to enjoy your hot meals for up to 25 minutes or your cold desserts for 45 minutes. They, are, they have the right strength to eat with them and to eat them after. They are incredible by nature too. They're made with plant-based non-GM whole grains and they come in two shapes and six fun flavors. We are a group of engineers with a deep passion to save the environment for our future generations. Cruel, our co-founder and manufacturing partner, along with us, invented the patent pending process to manufacture at scale. And Dinesh sold his home in the US to build the facility. Consumers agree with us too. Our first trial with a large premium ice cream chain, 91% of the consumers preferred an edible spoon over a plastic spoon. And better yet, 70% of them are willing to pay a premium for the edible spoon. According to Nielsen, 88% of the consumers are looking for brands to help them make a difference. Our completely new category of edible cutlery has already disrupted the B2B and B2B2C segments prior to COVID. Our major wins are with large ice cream chains in the US, Europe, Canada, UK, and Australia. We're also working with two major food companies to replace their single-use plastic spoons or sporks within their food packaging like expect an edible spork in your cup noodle bowl soon. Due to COVID, we had to pivot towards our B2C and direct-to-consumer segments. By the end of the year, we will be placed across 200 stores in the, in the US, and our initial launch two months ago at Amazon has been pretty successful. We sold about 10,000 spoons with $0 marketing spend in just a span of two months. Our packaging talks our passion to the environment. Each packaging comes with the fun fact of an aquatic animal to bring, to bring the concept close to the consumers. Spoons are just the beginning. We are working on other fun shapes like edible straws and edible sporks. Join us to our incredible revolution to fight against the single-use plastic. We are currently raising our seed and pre-seed rounds and also looking for strategic partners to help reduce single-use plastic cutlery. Thank you for being incredible. Did you eat your spoon today? <laughs> Thank you, Dinesh. <laughs> Over to you, Gigi. Thank you, Dinesh, for a great presentation. Um, makes me kind of hungry for ice cream now. Um, speaking of ice cream, it sounds like you have some very interesting trials and other opportunities that are in discussion. Can you talk a little bit more about what that looks like in the markets? Yes. Uh, yes, Gigi. A worldwide premium ice cream chain has already started a trial with us in three countries within Europe and the US early this year. And we're also in talk to expand it to the rest of the regions, not just edible spoons. We're also working edible straws and edible cups, possibly in the future with them. And uh, other applications include edible sporks with a large packaging firm in the UK. And in Japan, edible chopsticks, we got an interest, initial interest in a sampling with them. So we, we are actually working on many shapes, not just the spoons a few other companies. Great. That's very exciting. And it seems like the global, like the variety of markets um, really points to the great need for what you're doing. Um, I agree with you. So my, my other question is, what if you don't want to eat the spoon or the fork or the, the spork or the chopsticks? How is your product <laughs> different from other compostable cutlery? Yeah, great question. So our, our, our cutlery is made with food grains. So it composts in about 30 to 40 days in a landfill. So it doesn't need any industrial setting. Most of the compostable cutlery that exists in the market are PLA based and they need industrial settings and proper sorting capabilities, which are lacking right now in the market. And hence we invented the true zero footprint option. And it's fun, it's fun eating the spoon. So people who don't care about the environment will, will take, a, take a bite at this as well. Yeah, I love that. Thank you. 
Um, so your company is not the first to bring edible cutlery to the market. How is your product different? And, um, you know, how do you think you're going to achieve success in a way they have not been able to get traction around? Um, yep, I agree with you. There were a few companies who in, who tried to edible cutlery in the market, but we can safely say we are the first company who invented the process, the machinery, which is, which is patent pending right now. We can make up to 50,000 spoons a day as of now. And going forward, we already have the design and plans to make 2 million edible cutlery per day. So given the scale, we can reduce the cost, make it quite close to the existing alternatives, and then uh, save the planet one spoon at a time or one, one straw at a time. Great, thank you so much. Thank you, thanks Gigi for the opportunity. Awesome, thank you Gigi, thanks Planeteer. Mm -hmm.